his twisted way with all his plastic surgery, Mr. Mitchell was trying to make himself worthy of being loved. And when he didn't get that love, of course, he, he, he blamed others. Of course. Well, it's not atypical. You know, uh, men do tend to blame others for their depression and loneliness, whereas women, sadly, are more likely to blame themselves. Why are you telling me this? You had a very strong reaction to Mr. Mitchell today. Yeah, I, I mean, who who wouldn't? Fair enough, but, but it seemed to really touch a nerve, like it was almost personal. I'm sorry, I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm seeing this extraordinarily talented, brilliant, hardworking young woman who is putting an immense amount of pressure on herself to succeed. You know, she's not sleeping. She hasn't necessarily plugged into a peer group for support. You know, she's doing it alone. Elsa, for what it's worth, I know a whole lot about depression, loneliness, OK? You ever had any thoughts about hurting yourself? No, I've never. No, I mean, ha you, you, you have no right to ask me a question like that. None. I, I think, I think maybe you're the one with the problem, not, not me. I, like, what, what kind of life do you have? Well, what kind of friends? Like, you, you, you're, you're here all the time. You're even divorced like fifty times. Like, your last resident hated you so much, she moved to Texas. I, I, <laughs> I think you are the expert on loneliness and depression. Okay. 